It was a wild one. Um, you know, we, we had uh, several different opportunities to try to make a play, and, and uh, sure enough, um, we, we came half in short there, uh, unfortunately. But I thought it was an amazing game. I mean, I think just the, the back and forth, back and forth, offensive, def defensively, um, both teams, great, great teams going after it. Um, you know, it's been like that in a lot for us this season. We won, won a lot of those games. It's been an amazing season so far. Um, they've had some tough ones like that too. Uh, I remember our last time we, we met, it was similar to that. Um, you know, so uh, I, I think that it's a new season. You know, where, we, where we're going is a new season. And the great thing is it all starts, you know, 0 0 record. And it comes down to winning football games. And, and that's the thing we're looking forward to. Um, I thought we showed tremendous fight. Um, I thought we kept battling, kept battling. And uh, it was a showdown. I think everybody wanted to see it. I definitely got to see that. What happened on the delay game, and how did that change everything? Um, yeah, so we killed it, and then um, you know we were trying to get the right the right personnel in and everything else, and it was just it took a little bit um, there because we you know at the time um, we didn't have a back yet, and so then we then we um, we did, but it was too late, and so we, you know rather than you know you know trying to run up there and not have enough time once 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 it was the clock was what it was, it's like, okay, so we still got more plays, like you know so at that point we unfortunately didn't have any timeouts. Um, so, you know, it's just, it was a hectic moment. We didn't know if JU got in, too. Um, so we didn't know if they were going to look at that, you know. Um, when he caught it there, it looked like he may have, you know, put the ball in. So we were trying to do that and trying to get George, because he was down, so trying to bring him over. Um, so, you know, we had several other plays after that, you know. We, we thought we, we could have we had one of those. And, um, you know, we tried to get Hollister a couple times. We had him on, on a cross or two. I mean, it, I mean, it doesn't get any tighter than that, you know, the windows and things that we were able to try to do and um, they made a great play. Uh, we almost got it. I mean, the game would have changed completely with just that one play right there. So, um, you know, it, it is what it is. I think that the great thing is, is that, um, like I said, it's a new season. It's a great time to just focus on what we can do moving forward. Uh, we have a tough, a tough battle against Philly and we got to go on the road. Uh, we've been great on the road all year and uh, we battled through. We got to play there earlier this year. It's going to be a tough environment. We got to be ready to roll. Um, they've been hot. All year, they got a lot of great players, and so that's our focus right now. Well, did Marshawn Lynch's newness four days, four practices, contribute to that confusion there on that? No, no, I thought Marshawn, first of all, I thought Marshawn and, and Turbin, I mean, they, they were unbelievable all night. I mean, just to see Marshawn dive in the end zone, that was awesome. Uh, to have Beast Mode back, he had some amazing runs. I mean, just the excitement, just the, uh, when he when he came to the game, uh, it was it was like old times. It just felt right, you know, just him being back there. Um, he played just a great game, you know, just especially for – and playing his first game, you know, this year and everything else. I thought Turbin did great. <laughs> he was in there. Uh, Homer had a great game too. So I think the running backs um, they couldn't have been any better tonight. Uh, and just the like I said to you guys all week, they were just so professional, so focused, so dialed in, and it showed on the field. And, and they made those their plays all night. And so Marshawn and, and uh, Turpin were tremendous all week. You guys had such a good second half. And how do you take that, carry into next week, and, and come out from the jump with that kind of rhythm? Well, I think our second half, we, we, were, we were lights out. We were hitting things. Guys were making great plays. We, line was doing a tremendous job. We were creating. We were trying to move, I was moving around a little bit when I needed to. And, um, you know, Tyler, had, you know, uh, he made another amazing play. You know, I tried to kick my foot back a little bit and he, uh, just to make sure I didn't pass the line. He, he does a great job of scrambling, getting open. And, and uh, sure enough, he gets the touchdown. And DK has his. I mean, the game was, I mean, it was, it was a heavyweight fight. You know, that's what I really compared it to. And just, we knew it was going to be take a lot of rounds. We knew it was going to be a battle, um, and unfortunately, um, we didn't we didn't get the decision tonight. But uh, the thing was, there's it, it was a lot more football. Hopefully, um, it takes you know one day, one moment at a time. Learn from what we did well. And we did a lot of things great. Right. I mean, for George Fant to step in the game and play the way he did, I thought he did a great job. The line did a great job. Uh, in particular, in the second half, where we really need to throw it and drop back and do some things, they did great there. Like I said, the running backs were tremendous tonight. To be able to step in like that, Marshawn, uh, Turpin, and, and Homer, they, they, they were tremendous. You know, so uh, we have everything we, we, we want in, our, in, in the locker room. You know, we have everything that we can need, um, and we have everything that it takes. You know, so it's been a tremendous season. It's been a battle so far. You know, it's been, been a long one, but it's been a great one so far. The good thing is it's, it's a refresh button. We can get the refresh button and start all over. Oh and oh, and see how far we can go. You mentioned that you guys have been a good team on the road. How much can that help you just knowing that you've had that success on the year? Well, I think being great on the road is, is, is tough to do, especially where we got to come from. We're coming all from Pacific Northwest, top left corner here, and, uh, and we've been.
been traveling great you know, all year. We've been great at that you know, over time, really, to be honest with you. But I think that um, this year we've really taken that upon our shoulders and been able to do that in a, a tremendous way. Um, and we've got to do it again. You know, that's the reality. We've got to go do it again. Like I said, it's a new season. It's a new start. Um, we believe in that locker room. If anybody believes, it's the guys in that locker room and what, what, what we, where we're going, where we're headed, and what we think. Um, and so um, we just got to keep, keep you know, trying to find ways to you know, you know, stay, stay in rhythm and you know, try to find ways to all three parties, you know, offense, defense, and special teams click the ball the whole game. And, um, you know, we do that, and there's no stopping us, I think. Russell, do you see that they, they attack you guys any differently from uh, the 49ers' defense perspective? Um, they did a lot of different things. I mean, they changed up the coverage. I mean, on a certain play, they mixed a lot of different things in there. I thought we did a great job of seeing what they were doing. Guys kept, guys capitalizing on getting open. Um, we did, uh, you know, so with it, it, you know, you know, Coach Salai, you know, he knows what he's doing over there. He changed up a lot of different things, a lot of different looks and, and everything else, but we handled it really well. The line did a great job with it. Um, the receivers did a great job. And, um, you know, I, I don't really have much more to say than just it was a great game. Unfortunately, we didn't come on the, the end that we thought we were, but uh, I mean, as good as the game to get. DK finished this year with 900 receiving yards, second most by a rookie, second most receptions by a rookie. Just the, the kind of season he's had coming in. What, what's he meant to this? Well, I think DK has had an amazing season. You know, and I think that the reality is, is that uh, the sky's the limit for him. You know, I was talking in the locker room. I was actually talking this week. I thought he had his best practice of the year, and he's had some amazing ones. You know, he's he works his tail off. I mean, like I told you guys earlier in the week. I mean. A little bit. He, he, I mean, he studies his. He's, I give these um, scouting report sheets out every week, and uh, they're pretty extensive. Um, there's a lot of writing on there, and a lot of different things, and a lot of different uh, talking about all the different coverages, all the different pressures, all the different stuff, all the different personnel. Every, I mean, everything you can imagine. And um, and I mean, he he really really studies that. I mean, he, he really understands. He, he's, he's he's thoughtful. He's, he studies. He's, he has the right work ethic. He has the high character. Um, he's got all the talent in the world. Um, so it's going to be a pleasure to play with him for a lot longer, you know, and uh, probably just, you know, obviously health is the number one thing you got to miss game, and uh, he, he keeps take, taking care of himself and everything else. And I'm excited about, obviously, the, what's ahead and going to the playoffs with him. You know, think about um, when he, the season that he's had. He's as good as he gets, you know. I think he's one of the best rookies in the game, and uh, it definitely showed tonight. Anything else? Thanks, Russ.